Hey, you do. How's it going? You know, I have a, a couple of things I'd like to address about people saying that I, you know, I screwed up by going to Landstar after leaving Snyder. And, yeah, you know, I probably did. But the thing that I, the way I look at it, is I was with Prime from 2012 until I went over to Snyder. And I liked it over there. Don't get me wrong. I did. I did. I just wanted to go explore other options. And um, so that's what I did. You know, I went over to Snyder. But then I had the opportunity of Get a truck over at Snyder, a truck that I wanted. Um, they had to ha- they happened to have it there, and which was awesome. So you know, I took it. Yeah, the payments uh, to a lot of people are outrageous. Um, I understand that, but see, you know, if you, I have a work ethic where I like to work. Um, I like to run. That's my thing. I'm not a local guy. I'm not a regional guy. I don't like to do short hauls. I know short hauls, babe. But I just, I just, I don't like doing that. I like to get out and spread my wings and just coast to coast, border to border, you know, and and see everything in between. I've been, I did that for a while, and then, of course, you know. And started getting to where I was not wasn't able to do that. But I, I took the leap of faith and came over here to Cider. I mean over here to Landstar and because I know how I like to run. I know what I like to do. You know, it's all you know, everybody has their own different things that they do. Right. Now me, I don't like to do the same same thing over and over. I don't like to go to the same states over and over. You know, it's like the slowdown I'm on now. It's going from Wisconsin down to Arizona. Um, and then I got a load in Arizona going to Colorado. So... You know, and that at that point, you know, I'm sitting there going, you know, this is awesome. You know, I'm going down to Arizona for three dollars and eighty five cents a mile. I'm coming out of Arizona for five dollars and ten cents a mile. So now that that's that's what it is. Now I haven't done the numbers yet to give you guys what the truck's gonna be bringing, but that's still pretty good. I mean, that's that's. That's really good. And I've, I've been doing real good here at, at Lanza. And the thing that I'm looking for is, is to take the next step and to get my own trailer. That's, that's what I'm looking at right now. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we're we're, we're gonna be discussing. Is how some people say that you know I'm I screwed up. I hear it everywhere. How oh, there's a land side. I mean, a side of driver who went over the land side. That was the stupidest thing to do. You don't do it ass backwards. You're supposed to go from land side to Snyder. Why would you? You know, why, why would you want to follow the same steps that somebody else does? I mean, you're supposed to be your own person. You're supposed to be the person who goes out and makes his own decisions. Who doesn't listen to what anybody else says. Hey, you need to do this. Hey, you need to do that. See, what I like is the friends that I have on YouTube 
well, I'm sorry, my followers. I mean, I've never met him in person, but, you know, like Snow Lord or James Bass or Triple T or Jeffy Like, you know, you know, they come out and say, you know, you know, when, you know, if you're going to do this, well, you know, have you figured out, have you figured this out? Have you figured that out? You know, do you know your numbers? Um, do you know what your, your, your daily expenses are, what you need to go home? And by having people like that in your corner to give you advice to help you out, it's pretty good. You know, I mean, and that's what made me have that decision of, hey, if I get to the point to where I'm in between a rock and a hot place, I know that I have people that I can I can call up and, if they're not busy and say, "Hey, I think I screwed up. You know, what do I what do I do? What do I do about this, or or how do I get myself out of this uh, predicament? You know, just just a couple of those things that I think that would really be really be cool to know. You know, I mean, to know that I can. You know, ask Jeffrey like a question about Landstar, ask Triple T, ask Snow Lord. You know, it, it, it's like when I go to make that move on a trailer. Um, you know, the, the, the kind of trailer that I want, you know, it's going to be a, I want a lift gate. Um, I would like skirts and a tail. Um, with a belly box underneath so I can put blankets underneath there and those um, rods there, the square rods that go into your um, uh, into your rack so you can make, you know, put two different, put another roll on top. Um, that, that's what I'm looking for. And um, that, that's what I would like for a trailer. And I know it can be, I know it can get done if I just put my mind to it. You know, I know that all I need to do is just get, get out of the mindset. Because, I mean, I've, I've hauled the same trailer, and that's why I'm talking about getting a regular trailer. I've hauled this trailer, this is a, a 697 and I've had this trailer darn, going on to three weeks now and I'll tell you I like it I mean I I like the the idea of getting live unloaded or getting you know live loaded live unloaded uh, because I don't have to worry about oh man is there a trailer going to be there when I get there or is there going to be something wrong with that trailer? Is it going to have a flat tire? Is it going to have a door missing? Is it going to have lights missing? Or the grommet's going to be missing? Are the brakes are no good on it? You know, just those things right there is what I always worried about at Cider. You know, there, there was times that I couldn't get a trailer at Cider. And I had the deadhead. You know, and, and so me, I I really do prefer having my own trailer. And if I can get my own own trailer, and you know, that's gonna be that's gonna be a little bit better. That's gonna be a game changer. You know, because after I do that, then I can work on maybe. Um, not next year, but maybe a year or two down the line, maybe even three. I can go and put on my big boy panties and I can jump over to being a real owner operator, you know, get out of the big corporate, go and do stuff myself. <laughs> that's one of my things right there. I mean, I, that's why I say about two, maybe three years is because I'm still trying to learn 
on how to negotiate with the brokers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 think bumps. They can never have a bridge level with the road. I don't understand that. But anyway, so that's, that's like I said, you know, that's what I want to do. Is I want to take that next level. I want to get get the butterflies gone. Don't don't be nervous anymore. And just go for it. Just just go. That that's what I want to do. You know, I want to I want to just know that I can have my name on the side of the truck. And only my name and my DOT number. And I don't have to worry about, you know, anything. I mean, I got to worry about stuff. Yeah, I understand that. But, I mean, if I'm not, if I'm out and I'm on my own, and then every little decision I make is going to affect me. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to screw up last, um, last sides or, or anybody else's um, CSA score, I end up screwing up myself. So, you know, that's that's what I want to do. I was, I just want to go out and do that. I just want to go out and do what I want to do. And I figured, you know, if I want to make that that leap to uh, to get my own business and and stuff like that, you know, that I know that there's people on YouTube that I can talk to. You know, they can tell me, hey, you know, you want to do it this way, you don't want to do it that way, um. You know, something like that. You know, you know. Hey, I messed up doing it this way, so I'll do it this way. Or, you know, I went this this way, but you shouldn't really go this way. You know, having people like like that on YouTube is really awesome because you know, there's only a couple that I really talk to. I'd like to talk to more, but you know, but I'm just I'm too scared. You know, I just don't want to make. I don't want people thinking that, you know, I'm only calling them up for advice or, you know, to use them for advice or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. You know, I wasn't raised like that. If you can't get it yourself, then, you know, then you don't deserve it. But, I, you know, I kind of would. I would like to know, you know, what it would take to do this and to do that. Um, and would it be better to get a used trailer? Compared to a new one. Now I'm thinking new because you got the warranty. Um, I know any stuff could happen to a new trailer too, but you don't really know how weak that belly is on that trailer. I mean, heck, your first load that trailer could cave right in the middle, you know. And then, you know, then all of a sudden now you're out of business because now your trailer's broke. You know, and I just, I just would like to know. You know what I would, you know what website to go to 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 make my own business website. You know to to get out of the dot com part of it and just have my own website. You know which I'm gonna be going on and researching that on YouTube because there's plenty of videos out there. I know James Best has got some. You know so I'll go back and rewatch them, see what I can find, and then just go from there. I really am thinking that, you know, it's, it's time. It's time to, it's time to, you know, get out there and do it. You know, man up, man up or shut up. You know, and I want to be able to start saying that I'm an owner operator. You know, I want to be an independent contractor, I mean, I'm sorry. You know, and. Well, who you lease to? Well, I'm not leased to anybody. I'm out on my own. You know, that's what I want. I 
want to make moves, you know, I want to make money moves. You know, I want to make moves that's just going to make money. You know, I don't want to be, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying anything about, you know, Landstar or Snyder or Primary, they were all good companies, trust me. You know, I, I liked every one of them. It's just that it was, you know, like I said, with Prime, it was time to go when I went to Snyder. You know, I was at Snyder for two years, and I decided, well, you know, let's try Landstar. And also, I mean, so now, you know, I just, I'm getting, you know, my birthday's coming up in like seven days, eight days, I mean, sorry. You know, and I'm going to be 51. So, I would just like to be able to get out there and do it. You know, I've been doing this for 15 years now. Going on 16. I kind of like that. I kind of would just like to do it, you know, I mean, I got, I got ideas of how I want my trailer, that's why I was kind of leaning towards getting a new one, it's because I like to have the LED lights on it, on the inside, so that way it's all lit up, and in the front corner, I would like two cameras, one facing the load. And then the one on, on the passenger side of the trailer, have that facing the right half of the, the trailer, you know, the load, or in the trailer too, down between them. And then have the ones in the back. Oop. Get up there. There we go. We have the ones on the left. We'll be pointing down along the wall and the, and the um, pallets. And then the one on the right will be facing the pallets. So this way you got a four camera angle. And if they say, oh, you came in with a damaged product, you can look at your phone and you can say, well, no, because it shows right here that your, your folk truck driver did it. You know, that way you don't have to have the insurance claim on it. You know, and it saves you from being a bad driver if you had nothing to do with it. You know, and then, of course, I want side skirting with a belly box, um, tails, and, of course, the, like I was saying about having the, the lift gate on it, open myself up to more possible pos positivity, there we go, something like that, um, of getting better loads, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe do some of those trade shows or when they open back up again or, you know, something like that. There's something that I can get out there and say, like, three or four months out and then go home for a month and then go back out. And that's what I'm looking at. Like I said, if I ever needed any advice on doing all this, I know that I can call some people on YouTube if they're not busy. And I can always discuss it with them. And that way, at least I know that I got people who went through the same thing. You know, like Jeffy Like, he was at Landstar, he went to Cider. And he got Star Lord. <laughs> he did the same thing. And so, I mean, you know, if I can just get advice on something like that, that'd be great. We got a bridge coming up. Phone's going to fall up and all that. 
I have a, uh, a phone holder, but for some reason it loosens up and then it comes off the dash. I got my GoPro, but I think that's going to have to go back to GoPro. It keeps on overheating. Even with the AC on, it overheats for some reason. The battery gets real, real hot on it. So I'm not too sure what's going on with that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll send it in to them and pay the extra money and get the, the Hero 9 right from the factory. Maybe, that, maybe that'll be better than this one. Because I got the, the, the GoPro 8 black there, Hero. And like I said, I've used it a couple of times, but it's overheated. And I'm just kind of afraid that that thing's going to catch on fire sometime. But yeah, so let me know your opinion on what you think that I was just talking about. Um, about first starting out and getting my own trailer. And then, secondly, working on, you know, checking on getting my own authority and going from there. Because I'm going to be moving out of Wisconsin. I've had enough of the cold and snow. We've been talking for 21 minutes, so I don't want to hold you guys up for too long. I'll give you guys a couple more minutes. And um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but when I was home, I uh, had a doctor's appointment. Then I, I scheduled another one for the next day to get some blood work done, to get all checked out, to make sure I was running on all cylinders and everything was clean. And, uh, and the blood work came back perfect. There was nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with my kidneys or my ulcer. You know, I don't have a hernia. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have cholesterol. I don't have um, diabetes. So that, that was pretty good thing to get a, a clean bill of health um, because the reason why I went in to get checked out is because I can't eat meat I can't eat chicken without my feet swelling up for some reason I don't know why and then we also have um, Hamburg if I eat Hamburg the same thing happens so I mean I can eat liver all day long and it doesn't do anything to me I can eat pork chops, and I'm fine with that. But I just wanted to find out, you know, why I was having problems eating chicken, which I've been eating for years. Never had a problem. I mean, it was getting so bad that I had to go get those shoes there. They have the, um, now what do they call them, elastic things going across it so you don't have to tie them. You just slip them on because, you know, I was trying to do just chicken and it was just getting bad to where I couldn't even put my shoes on. They've gone, they've gone down uh, because I haven't had chicken in, uh, geez, two weeks. This road is bumpy right here. Now, we're going to be getting off here anyways in four miles. We're going to take US 50 across. If I'm not mistaken, we're going to run that all the way over. Nah, I'm trying to think of that route. Darn it. I know we're going to drop down to Oklahoma. Take that back way over to Texas. And if you stay on that road, darn it, I can't remember that. Is that 54? I don't know, but it drops you out there in New Mexico over in um, Tumacara, Tumacara, or something like that. I apologize for butchering that name. I'm not good with names. 
But that's where that's what we'll end up dropping out. That'll be that'll be pretty good. I don't have to go down to Oklahoma City or or anything like that or Amarillo. So that'll be pretty good. We can get over there and get up on 40 and just get to the rest area or, or unless we have enough time to get to a truck stop. Because by the time I shut down, I mean, heck, I still got another hour before I have to take my half an hour break. So, well, we'll run into about we have four hours on our clock. <clears throat> and then we'll We'll get a half an hour break, and we should have like six hours after that. So if we do six hours. We should get about 300, maybe 400 miles more off. So that should put us about, yeah, about 600, 650 miles to go tomorrow. But anyway, so I will let you guys go and appreciate you guys watching and sticking around. Um, so we will talk to you guys later and have fun. All right. Be safe, you guys.